What is up dudes and dudettes of the year now my name is Scythe and today we're gonna be talking about 60,000 subscribers oh my goodness I know that I'm very very late as far as this party is concerned but seriously folks I just wanted to say a huge thank you to every single one of you uh, I've been working on tons and tons of things behind the scenes that uh, while a lot of it I can't exactly talk about because it's kind of uh, more personal more serious stuff uh, I will talk about what I can today just to say thank you. Well, also, I'm going to kind of talk about uh, and introduce a lot of you new subscribers to the type of person that I am, the type of videos that I like to make, etc., etc., etc. So hopefully you're going to enjoy the video. So first of all, why do I make content? Because I love it. I love making videos, I love playing games, and I love making people laugh and doing videos and stuff like that. I view my job as a comedian slash commentator, you know, while, uh, you know, also, you know, a game commentator, but that's kind of what Let's Plays are in general, is just trying to be funny, you know? And I've always been, I've always been good at making people laugh, you know, because I'm willing to make myself look like an idiot. And, you know, whether or not people actually think that I'm, like, dumb or anything like that, whatever, that's beyond me. I don't care. I'm trying to just introduce the new people to let you know that I don't really take things too seriously around here. None of us do. You know, we got a great positive community that's willing to get involved just as much as you're willing to get involved. Uh, and even though I say that I'm not really going to be too serious, mostly I mean that towards the games itself. I take my YouTube career and making these videos extremely serious, like deadly serious, okay? But as far as playing the games are concerned, I'm just trying to have fun. I'm not trying to be the best or anything like that. You know, I'm just uh, playing as how, uh, however much I enjoy playing it. And that just determines how far I end up getting. And I honestly don't really like the, the game doesn't matter to me so much as it does to make a good video and something that all of you will enjoy. Trove being the most popular game on the channel, uh, mostly is because I get to actually interact with a lot of you. You know, not to mention, I've been playing that game for like, a couple years now already, or maybe, well, a little over a year. I've played since the closed beta or something like that. I wasn't trying to become the Trove guy or anything. I was just making videos, just goofing around and stuff like that, and then suddenly, bam, uh, everybody just started watching the videos and stuff. And, you know, while a lot of the hype for Trove ended up going down, meaning that a lot of the hype on my videos ended up going down as well, uh, you know, I'm still very satisfied and very happy with the fact that we were able to kind of explode and push through on the YouTube channel when the game ended up like launching and coming out on Steam and everything like that. We got a lot of new faces that came in and, uh, you know, a lot of people ended up leaving over time, sure, but a lot of you have stayed and, you know, I respect that and I just want to say thank you for that because without without you all sticking around, you know, we wouldn't be at 60k, right? Now, as far as life stuff is concerned, I dedicate as much of my time towards my YouTube videos as I can. Uh, there's very rarely any time that I don't spend behind the computer uh, working on my videos, unless, you know, like, e even when I'm just randomly playing games and stuff like that, chances are I'm rendering videos in the background, and because of it, I can't record just because it's taking, like, so many resources, or I'm uploading, or finding information about new games, and stuff like that, you know, I, I'm always working on my YouTube, uh, just, I, I love doing what I do, and I also, now I'm at the point where I feel that I owe it to all of you, because so many of you have been just so kind to me, uh, with your supportive words, and saying how, like, you know, my videos, like, inspire you, or help you throughout your day, whether it's something big or small, doesn't matter to me, the fact that the videos are affecting your lives positively, that's what gets me excited, and although I did talk about this in my Trove, like, uh, tour for episode 400. I know that a lot of you still don't really know, but yeah, these are wigs. I wear them because I'm an entertainer and because, honestly speaking, I've had dyed hair, and although it was absolutely beautiful, the fact of the matter is that it sucks to manage. Especially with all the crazy colors that I want. You know, like red, for example, you have to constantly re-dye it because it washes out like uh, in like a day or a week. Uh, not to mention, I actually have naturally curly hair, meaning that if I wanted to have crazy hair like this, which was possible, I had this when I was a lot younger, uh, you'd have to straighten it right so i'd have to straighten my hair and actually make it look all beautiful and stuff like that before every single video and i'm the type where 
I don't know, maybe it's just because I've gotten older where I'm just all about efficiency sake, you know? So I decided a long time ago that I was just gonna, you know, say, screw it, stop bothering dyeing my hair or styling it and stuff like that, and just throw these on just for the sake of making a good quality video and it looking cool. I, I have nothing against it. Oh, and just because lots of people are always asking me, I get them from Light in a Box. I think that's what the website's called. Uh, it says that they're gonna arrive in like a week or two. It usually takes like over a month because they're actually like from, I don't know if it's China or Japan or something like that. And when I actually get them, they're actually really long hair. And then I cut them myself uh, just to kind of, because I've always enjoyed short hair, right? I just want to get the point across that I'm not really trying to hide behind them exactly. It's just because of the fact that it's easier for me to manage and I like the way that it looks you know like I've always been into alternative stuff like I got piercings you know I do my nails which I mean my nail polish is all off right now uh, you know got tattoos want a lot more eventually and yeah I always used to dye my hair like a madman as far as my personal life is concerned, uh, I still live with my family right now just because, you know, we're very supportive of each other. I live with my family as an adult, not to be confused as like mooching off of them or something like that. And e even if you do have that opinion, well, get wrecked, that's not what it is, then your life might be pretty messed up. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, but for me, it's just about living with each other because uh, you know I've grown into an adult with my family and I have established who I am uh, in this family you know plus a lot of like you can kind of hear I'm getting a little bit defensive most of that's actually got to do with like North American viewers and people and stuff like that just uh, stuff that I've dealt with in my life where people kind of look down on it as opposed to I mean you look at uh, a family in Mexico or Brazil or something like that you know uh, foreign countries pretty much live with their families and kind of just inherit the house, right? So I would say that our relationship, like the type that I have with my family, is much more akin to something uh, not from North America, you know? So I, I just wanted to get that point across. As for my love life, I have been engaged to the most beautiful woman in all of creation for a, a couple years now. We've already known each other for, I think, think maybe five years or something and we've been engaged for three or four I, I don't know I'd have to talk with her or something whatever though it doesn't matter it's a long distance relationship uh, we've had our ups and downs and stuff that we've had to go through as is life and right now we're actually desperately working towards uh, getting her to come here and live here in Canada but uh, that's where, you know, I'm not going to talk about all of the details because that's a lot of that is the stuff that we've been working on lately. And that's why, you know, usually it's just easier for me in the videos to say that, you know, oh, it, you know, I'm working with lots of stuff behind the scenes. I can't really talk about it. And even now, I'm not really going to get into that much detail. But I'll just tell you that it's ridiculous. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. The fact that, you know, she's in America, I'm in Canada, and the amount of uh, borders uh, and uh, the amount of cost, you know, and just everything about it is just, it's its insane. You would have no idea. I, I had no idea that it was going to be this hard for two people that are in love that grew up in separate countries to actually live together. Like, it's absolutely nuts. And I'm really hoping that we can end up finding a way to end up doing that um, and for the most part I, I guess the big reason that I don't really like talking about these things is because honestly speaking I've always believed you don't reveal too much of your personal information because otherwise people are gonna end up you know I, it's the internet you gotta be careful right but how does I like how do I a YouTube entertainer that has my face on like every single video <laughs> How do I keep that amount of privacy, you know? I've had a couple people that have actually messaged me and they oddly know where I live. I, I don't even know how, which, I mean, it doesn't worry me too much because it's like, it, it's gonna happen eventually. But the fact of the matter is that, yeah, at the moment, I very much do uh, enjoy my private life. Uh, I've never met a fan in real life. I don't know if I would because the town that I'm living in is actually quite small. Like seriously, I get more views on my videos than there are people that are living in this city. But what can I tell you? As far as, you know, getting her over here and stuff like that, it's very expensive. As for what I do for a career, I do YouTube full time. This is my job. This is why I dedicate all my time to it, you know? And unfortunately, uh, 
It's a touchy subject to talk about like the pricing and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna talk in specifics, but I will say that, yeah, I, I barely make minimum wage with YouTube. But that's not why I'm doing it, so I just keep doing it anyways. And the advantage of YouTube over a normal job is that it, you know, the amount of money you actually make from your content can only end up going up as you end up getting more popular, right? Because more views equals X amount of extra cents on the dollar. And even when I'm asking in my videos for likes and stuff like that, honestly, folks, I really don't care. I, I really, really don't. It's just that as far as YouTube is concerned, when somebody likes a video or even when they dislike it, YouTube considers that audience interaction and thus they make the video show up in searches more. So that's how you help me by uh, making my videos show up to more random people that potentially would end up becoming a subscriber and a viewer and you know, thus helping my income. Because for myself, I personally have a lot of issues asking for charity. Maybe it's because, you know, I was raised poor and because of that, I feel more that I, I want to like earn the money myself or something like that. I don't know, but I have had quite a few people that have been asking for me to put up a donation button. I've kind of been on the fence about this, uh, you know, because uh, with the way things are, you know, I looked at like PayPal and junk like that. And pretty much like if you create a donation button, they take like a cut, which I mean, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Not to mention you gotta give them like an absurd amount of personal information, which I am not comfortable with, even though they're an established company, right? But the fact of the matter is that, you know, while the life that I have right now is sustained with YouTube, uh, the process of getting the woman that I love to actually live out here uh, in Canada and everything like that is very expensive and I'm not I'm not trying to say this as a weeping story or anything like that please goodness no uh, I'm not asking for donations in any way shape or form but I am going to be looking into that whole Patreon thing that I've seen tons and tons of other YouTubers do just because I want to be able to give the opportunity to the people that do want to donate uh, it's not that I'm going to be putting that out specifically because I want donations. And in fact, I don't want charity. Like I really, really don't. That said, I might not even be able to qualify for this whole Patreon thing. I have absolutely no idea. I've only ever seen like big time YouTubers that are making tons and tons of money end up having their Patreon just because I don't know, I guess more money, right? But I don't want to talk too much about money. It's mostly just I wanted to talk about these things that I haven't been able to talk about for for months, you know, for years, actually. Like, I, this is probably the most open video that I've ever had with all of you uh, about my life and my career. Now, regardless of what ends up happening in, in, in any way, shape, or form, I'm gonna keep doing the videos no matter what. And I have lots of confidence and hope that things are going to end up working out uh, with Scarlett because, I mean, you know, we, we love each other and no matter what ends up happening, even if uh, certain events don't end up uh, conspiring that we can do it right away, then whatever, we'll just take even more time before we can actually be together, you know? But the fact of the matter is that this is a real, true love, like legit, the type that you see in Disney that makes you cry. <laughs> and because of that, we are both absolutely dedicated to each other. But anyways, folks, uh, you know, that's enough rambling from me. I'm gonna have to cut this video up and uh, throw it online. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Hope that the videos continue to brighten your day. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy the video, leave a like because it helps me out. It's like, it means a lot to me, mostly just in the fact that you want to support the videos, not so much that I'm looking for like the numbers on the likes and stuff like that. But anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Very much appreciate it, as always. And uh, yeah, here's to 75K, I guess, or 70K. And then, I mean, 80K, that's going to be a big deal for me. And then if I can even be fortunate enough to get to 100K subs, that'll be insane. But, you know... As much as I love Trove and everything like that, I hope that I can continue to uh, be a successful YouTuber just with the videos that I'm creating because I, I just kind of do what I feel like, you know, and 
Trove is one of the only games where uh, we get to actually be with each other and actually hang out as much as as much as I can possibly because you know at the at this point it's getting uh, absolutely insane like I can barely keep up with most of you you know and that's one of the unfortunate side effects of becoming more popular is it means that my personal interaction with all of you individually is going to get boiled down and down and down so that I have to make a video like this where I talk to a lot of you at once rather than telling 10 different people this same conversation over and over. But anyways, I rambled on enough. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sayonara, and stay epic as always.